from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into the Horse's Mouth here. Tommy Max, of course, at my bar where everybody's welcome to have a seat and tell their story. Brought to you by our friends at Dasher and at Hot Spring Spas of Jacksonville. UNF is here. The doc is in the house. We're talking some conservatory, and we're talking a little ball with my good friend, Coach Dave Campbell. Let's welcome in the panel. Nick O'Brien is back from UNF. How are you, Nick? Great. How are you Strength doing? Strength and conditioning coach over there. What's the latest, man? What are you guys training? What's sports hot and heavy? Uh, we're full spring season, so okay. everybody's kind of going. Softball played last night, baseball played last night, beach opens up this weekend. Yep. Basketball's about to wrap up the season, so we're, we're in full swing over there. And the weather's getting better, too. How much is the training varying? Like, are you trying to elongate muscles? You know what I mean? Like, from track and field to swimming, you know, from whatever sport, beach volleyball, like you mentioned, right. that kind of weight kind of training. What, how do they differ? Yeah, they're all a little bit different, especially the seasons. Like, beach is super condensed. Yep. So trying to get them to realize that, they're like, this weekend, the first week they play, they play four matches. Two oh. two in, on Friday, two on Saturday. So getting them prepared to do that and have a super fast season yeah. in a short amount of time, um, we try to really emphasize, like, what the importance looks like in the off season so that they're prepared for yeah. that right when you start playing someone that's got a different yeah. jersey than you. Body's a fascinating thing, no doubt about it. Dr. Michael Matucci is here yes, from Encompass Life. You're taking care of the inside of the body, Doc. Is that that's right? right? That's Tell right. Tell us about Encompass Life. Well, we help people find exactly what's stopping them in any aspect of life. It could be their bodies. It could be their relationships, kids, their business, and assess what exactly is their part in keeping this thing alive. Okay. We have some special tools to be able to find that really fast and then transform it in as a little 15 minutes. Whoa. But we, it's so important for people to be empowered. Yeah. Instead of having to come back to us like therapy or counseling week after week, we give them the tools and we walk through like a training so that they can begin to become part of partly their own coach and their own healer and okay. really assist others in their in their lives and and in the in their spheres of work. Well, give me give an example of someone that has come to you like, you know, that has whatever ailment or whatever sure. issue and then you you're working them through that. Yeah, so there was a woman who came in uh, who was about to have surgery on her gallbladder. Okay. And she had done months and months of different therapies and they had gotten to the end and said you're going to have to have surgery. And she found us and within 2 months she went back to the doctor and they said you don't need surgery wow. anymore. We no. like that. No. I like that. Wow. What did you do? <laughs> uh, so, and that was just from some introductory things that we do. We actually okay. have a whole course, and people can, through accreditation with our uh, university, we can get uh, give them a master's degree as well. Okay. So we have a lot of people who are healthcare practitioners or, yeah. or providers, as well as coaches and managers and things like that, and they like to help their own people. So, so we a holistic give them the tools. approach, Doc. It's a, I would say soul level. It's okay. the subconscious mind, will, the emotions, all okay. the stuff that society says is uh, not so important yeah. is actually running the whole show. Yeah, but People think they know what is running the show, but the yeah. reality is, is all the stuff like your computer that's, that's on cool. background. Yeah. It's all the background yeah. apps or operating system and nobody thinks about it. They're just looking at the app on top. Yeah. When you have all that stuff going, and that's where the action is. So we help wow. people get into that. That's and then cool. become empowered and shift yeah. up themselves. Strong and healthy, baby. Strong yes, and healthy. Sir. Yes, Thanks sir. for being here. Really appreciate it. Tina Jackson is back from Fauna Cons Cons Conservation <laughs> and Analytics LLC. Welcome back. Thank you. What's the, what project are we working on? What do we got going? What are, we, what are we helping out out there in the environment? We have a whole summer of bat work lined up. Oh, um, really? Yeah. So we're trying to get ahead of this um, endangered species listing that's coming down the pipeline for uh, the tricolor bat. And so doing some preliminary bat work to try to see what okay. the status is uh, currently. Do you, are you going to be in a situation where you're surrounded by bats? Is that going to, like, oh. could that happen? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna catch them. You're going to so. catch them. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to be there to catch them, Yeah, right? we put nets up, we catch okay. them, we process them, wow. measure them. Do they bite when stuff. you grab them? We have gloves on and we're what? rabies vaccinated. Okay. But yeah, they do <laughs> chomp They're now. like, what are you touching me for? Yeah, they're just yeah. like, I don't know. Makes sense. Wow, bats. But bats are good. 
good for killing some bugs, isn't it? They're or great they? for the environment, yeah. Okay. They're a natural pest control, for sure. So we want to keep them around. We do. Yeah, and they don't attack people anyway. That's no. only in the movies. Yeah, no, right? that's, that's uh, misinformation. <laughs> that's right, no Dracula. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. Well, great to have you on the show. Again, appreciate that. Coach Campbell, what's up, man? We're talking bats? Well, listen, I mean, we're, we're like talking about some bats here. all the time yeah. with, you know, with some of the guys I dealt with. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Working on the body inside yeah, and out. This, uh, you know, having a, a strength training uh, yeah. and, a, and, a, and a inside training. Eternal and dog. Yeah. An all training, I guess. I don't know what I did. Yeah. Uh, all I you did, did it all, Coach. Yeah, well, I don't you know. You did it all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, so for the panel, what's the... Uh, What's the most difficult part about what you do? Nick, I'll start with you. I think you kind of mentioned it too. Like right now it's managing the seasons and yep. I think right now too, kind of managing expectations a few for some of our athletes. Mm -hmm. um, like the nature of like what college, like division one sports looks like now. Yep. There's like tiers that are kind of developing and like some of the yep. things that are coming down the pipeline. Um, it might create a little bit more division within Division One, mm -hmm. um, so just kind of making sure athletes are prepared and kind of able to bounce back from either tough losses or not yep. get too wound up in a great win and kind of ride the waves. I think that's where we're at, especially early in the season, not nice. throwing the baby out with the bathwater yep. two Beautiful. weeks in. Nick, do you do them all? Do you do all sports? Uh, no, I work with a lot of them, assisting with them, but primarily my teams at UNF are baseball, beach volleyball, and women's soccer. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Great. That's great. Doc, what would you say? What's the hardest part of what you do, man? Well, I got to take the responsibility of bringing our company uh, into the online marketplace. Okay. So I, I like being with people. I love creating things. I write. I make films as well. Oh, cool. So learning about online advertising, marketing, and sales has definitely been yep. a journey. It's like yep. another degree yep. uh, in the past year. And uh, it's a very interesting place that's very crowded now. A lot of yep. people sending their messages to everybody. So uh, that's been that's had its, its ups and downs as yep. far as getting that whole world. Yep. But I've been making progress and learning a lot and I feel even though I'd rather be doing other stuff working with the people doing stuff yep. it's it's a part of the, being successful in business and being, right. successful, and being a great leader is getting the business part yep. as well as the people part and the, all the other parts so it's been a blessing it's just it's been a journey at the I same bet. time I yeah. bet Tina how about you what would you say toughest part um, catching the bats or not I'd, letting them bite you I would say on the business aspect of it probably just um, you know scaling um, yep. trying to scale the business I sure. think on the personal side as a biologist working with endangered species is just always depressing yeah. and sometimes you're just like, are we doing anything? Like, are we making any difference? Right. Does this matter at the end of the day? But <laughs> you are making a difference. We try, yeah, we try, are. but Absolutely. we're just fighting a losing battle. It feels yeah. like so. It gets depressing. Coach, so. you don't you don't have bad days, do you? <laughs> do you ever have a bad day? Well, uh, well, I have some bad days every once in a while. But the hardest thing for me is, you know, when you are in a position where you're talking to a lot of people, yep. you want to make sure what you're saying is correct. So the studying part now is actually, you yep. know, not only do I have to know what I did, but yep. I have to know what's going on. And, and from the media standpoint, that's probably the hardest thing, yep. you know, but uh, the easiest thing is talking to people. That's the, that's yeah. the fun part. Absolutely. For me, it's just taking time out, like having a bad day. Go take a walk, you know, yeah. go get away from what you're doing. Just an hour, you know, not all day, you know, and then come back and try to finish strong and tomorrow's a new day, right? Yeah, Thanks for absolutely. being here, guys. Appreciate it. Make sure you check out their great profiles, this conversation, and hundreds of others by going to dailynewsnetwork.com. Until next time, y'all stay safe out there and be cool, and we'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or am I going to have to keep up with all this information. Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.